Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the modular ratio. It is the ratio of the elasticity of two different material. It is generally represented by small m and it is the ratio of the elasticity of two different material. Hence in the reinforced concrete structure, we are mostly concerned with the steel and concrete. So the ratio of the elasticity of the steel to the elasticity of the concrete this ratio is known as the modular ratio and we want to convert the two different material into one equivalent material so we use the modular ratio this transformation of the two different material into one equivalent material is done with the help of the modular ratio if we have this beam section and it is made up of two material this is steel and concrete let's suppose this is the area of the concrete and this is the area of the steel so and we want to convert these two material into one equivalent material this is done with the help of the modular ratio now this is the transform section for this beam section so this is now is the transform section because we use the elasticity of the two different material in order to have a equivalent material so this is done with the help of the modular ratio and we have different formulas for the modular ratio. There are mainly three formulas for the modular ratio. The first one is the without effect of the creep. When we don't consider any effect of the creep or shrinkage, then we can use the below formula. When there is without effect of creep, so we can use the modular ratio of elasticity of the steel to the elasticity of the concrete. Simply, Elasticity of the steel is known to us which is 2 into 10 to the power 5 megapascal dividing by the elasticity of concrete which is 5000 and 2 under root of Fc prime it is the compressive strength of the concrete. So elasticity of the concrete is changing because it depends on the strength of the concrete. So this modular ratio is used for the short term effect when we don't consider any creep effect or the shrinkage effect. So there is another type of the modular ratio where we consider the partial effect of the creep. Partial when we consider the partial effect of creep. So then we use this formula m is equal to the 280 divided by 3 into sigma CBC where CBC is the permissible compressive stress in concrete and bending. So this has different values depending on the strength of the concrete. So if we have grades of concrete here, grades of concrete and here we have CBC value. So for the M15 value, for the M15 grade, we have CBC of 5. For the M20, we have 7. For the M25, we have 8.5. For M30, we have 10. So there is one table we can find in the I is 456 2000 where there is a table and we can find the different values of the C, sigma CBC for the different concrete grades. So by knowing the sigma CBC value we can find out the modular ratio for the partial effect of the creep. And this value partial effect of the creep is used mostly in the working stress method design because this considers the partial effect of the creep while in this case we don't consider any effect of the creep. There is also a third formula that is used to find out the modular ratio and this formula is when there is a full effect of the creep. Full effect of creep and this formula is equal to the M is equal to the ES divided by EC into 1 plus theta. Now again you can find in the I is 456 2000 the different values of the theta depending on the strength of concrete varying with the days. So this theta value depends on the age of the concrete. So these are the three formulas in order to determine the modular ratio. While in the design we mostly use this formula because it partially considers the effect of the creep. And just knowing the 280 value in 3 these are the factors and you should know the value of the sigma CBC and for the different grades of concrete you can find out these values. So by plugging these values and dividing 
this value we can find out easily the module ratio for any beam section which is made up of the steel and concrete hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video